Better love Phil Collins. Jeremiah, why don't you tell us about Prague? Oh, Prague? Prague is a shithole. <laughs> Prague is also the love of my life, but you know how it is. <laughs> but I don't want to talk about Prague. I want to talk about California. The state of ruby red wine and golden beaches. <laughs> the place that brought us all together. Golden beaches, ruby red wine? That's the... Poet and me. <laughs> <laughs> the state of pretentious assholes in my experience. No other group of white people, actually no other group, period, is as annoying as the Californian. They literally buy $16 gluten-free cauliflower tacos and think it's authentically Mexican. Okay, mister, I've backpacked all over South America and know how to roll my art. <laughs> Come on, Pena, you know what I'm talking about. Californians, vegan for a greater, greener planet, but then take daddy's Jeep, drive it from SoCal to NorCal every two weeks, <laughs> but they can't believe that you haven't had bulletproof coffee. <laughs> oh my God, it'll change your life, it'll change your life. <laughs> Patrick, you are being so dramatic. <laughs> and um, besides, we've uh, got one here among us tonight. M Maeve, <laughs> I am so sorry. I love this place. God bless America. <laughs> oh, please. California is a shithole. California is also the love of my life. You know how it is. <laughs> You're a real beach going wine drinking Californian? As I live and breathe. Admittedly, more wine drinking than beach going, but hey. <laughs> Salute that. <laughs> Your judgment is the only one I can trust. Would you be so kind as to show me around? Oh, uh, I don't know what a tourist would want to see. That's perfect. I don't want the tourist tour. I want to see this place through your eyes. Uh, Saturday at five? Dude, are you seriously asking her out right now? <laughs> <laughs> Saturday then. You made it! You look positively refreshed. <laughs> I've been told I can pull off very weather inappropriate outfits. <laughs> I see you haven't been lied to. The goosebumps on you just look stunning. Well, if you aren't charming. <laughs> shall we go inside? We shall. A lot of you. What? Golden light. It's just like you. Don't be cheesy. <laughs> I'm sorry. But seriously, the first time I met you at that dinner, this is what I saw. You were radiant. Stop. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I apologize if this is coming off way too heavy considering we just met and we're only 20 minutes into this date, but. I don't know, this, this painting is how you make me feel. Warm, golden. So cheesy. I'm so sorry. Please forget everything that just came out of my mouth. It's okay. I'll let it slide this one time. <laughs> but seriously, it's a, it's a compliment. You should take it. Let's move on. <laughs>
this piece is everything. It, I don't know, it, it's one piece, but it feels like it has like this dual nature to it. Is it coming together or is it falling apart? What do you think? I don't think there is an answer. I think it is what you make of it. You're right. But I think it says a lot about a person, whether they first look at it and sense separation or look at it and feel connection. I feel connection. Me too. Yeah, are you kidding me? I don't want you to turn into an icicle right in front of me. You are a yeah. lightsaber. Yeah. Can I walk you home? Uh, you don't have to. I truly know these streets more than you. I can respect that, of course, but it's getting dark out. No matter how beautiful the place is, I want to see vicious creatures of the night talking about. I think you're exaggerating. <laughs> but really, I don't want to trouble you. You're hot. I'm all for it. didn't you could have come up for a cup of coffee? That's all right. I won't get in the way of you getting your eight hours. Besides, we have all the time in the world to have some coffee. <laughs> experience, I believe that sometimes the smarter choice to not do what you really want. You're kind and intelligent. I really want to get to know you. Me too. I think sometimes the better option. Besides, you can resist a good slow burn. <laughs> Nothing better than a good slow burn. <laughs> Your coat. <laughs> oh, keep it. Give it to me next time I see you. If you'll see me again. Good night, Jeremiah. Good night, Maeve. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so did you guys know that in Prague, they have a statue of Sigmund Freud? He's like, hanging from some random house. <laughs> And people, seriously, they call 911 all the time because they think someone is trying to jump. <laughs> Jeremiah, didn't you take me to see that? I didn't take you to see that. And I also hope that wasn't the extent of your cultural endeavors in Prague. <laughs> I do like that Sigmund Freud guy, though. He has some poignant ideas about human sexuality. Yeah, like we all want to have sex with our parents. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, Prague is a shithole. Prague is also the love of my life. No, it is. But I don't want to talk about Prague. I want to talk about California. State of ruby red wine, golden beaches. The place that brought us all together. Golden beaches, ruby red wine? It's the poet me. <laughs> the state of pretentious assholes in my experience. Cauliflower tacos are in, gluten is out. <laughs> 
the vibes are so bad in NorCal. Oh my god, Mr. Worldwide, you are being so dramatic. <laughs> um, besides, we have one of them among us tonight. Maeve! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I love this place. God bless America. <laughs> That's quite all right. California is a shithole. Seriously. <laughs> California is also the love of my life. You know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like a real Cali girl then? I guess. Show me around. Oh, um, I don't know. I'm kind of unprepared to give a tour. Sorry. <laughs> Yep, believe me, going out with her would not feel like a vacation. I mean, just. <laughs> <laughs> I can handle you. Saturday at five. Dude, are you trying to ask her out? I'm not really the right person for the job. <laughs> oh, come on, I mean, you wouldn't want me to get lost, right? I guess not. <laughs> That's what I thought. It's a date. I couldn't find my jacket. Do you have a coat rack? I do. I must have put it somewhere else. Well, maybe you should actually try hanging it on the coat rack. Thanks for the advice. You're good. It's head inside. Interesting. This is painted by a woman, but could easily be interpreted as being very masculine. Masculine, it's yellow. So? So, yellow is for gender neutral baby parties. <laughs> I mean, there's more to it than just the color. Do you see the loose, rapid brushwork? Rhythms, broken color, and uneven saturation? I even see finger marks. This type of savage expression used to be reserved for men only. Abstract expressionism is characterized by very macho, hyper-masculine artists, so to see a woman create something so unrestrained is amazing. And what makes you such an expert? I actually have a master's degree in art history. Right. Oh, hey, there's naked woman over here. You know, a boob job, you can look just like this one. It's a compliment, you should take it. Have you ever disliked someone so much you wanted to disassociate yourself from them with every fiber of your being? Walk you home? Oh, uh, no, I know my way around. Sure, but you know, it's getting really dark out. I don't want some asshole to make you feel uncomfortable. Don't you worry about that. Really, I just, I want to walk myself home. Hello, Miss Independent. Really, it's fine, I'm okay. Right I need to go to bed early. Oh, come on. We can just have a quick coffee. Yeah, I need to go to bed early. Let me just, let me just say goodnight. I don't want that. Okay. Are you like the type that doesn't kiss on the first date or something? Sure. We'd be a society to pass that. Who cares if we kiss on this date or the next one? I'm like super old school or whatever. I need to go to bed. Okay, okay. Let me just... Just be a gentleman. Thank you have a good night, Maeve. I had a really good time tonight. We should do it again soon. Bye, Jeremiah.